Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it, hope you're doing well and staying safe. And if you're new here, I'm Jim, it's great to meet you. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I use different tools to edit my images, taking them from wherever they are to wherever it is I want them to be. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a quick tip video in Luminar 4. I've got a photo, let me show it to you. And this was a longish exposure, I think it was 30 seconds, um, in London. And what I wanted to do is just create kind of a modern cityscape. And I found a few things that really helped me accentuate that look as I imagine it. So it's kind of like taking a skyline that, um, you know, for starters, I think it's a nice view in London. I'm a little bit partial because I love London so much. But regardless, it's a uh, it's not a bad view, but the colors are off. There's no detail. It just eh, Everything's just kind of yucky. I turned it into that. So I'm gonna hit reset. We're gonna walk through some of the filters and tools that I use to achieve this look. It's quick, it's easy, it's Luminar, let's go. Okay, so here's my base photo and I started in light and I've actually just um, turned off the filters instead of reset them all. So I'm just gonna walk through quickly what I did and show you without uh, actually dragging the sliders myself. So that's before and after light. As you can see, the very first thing I did Temperature change, it was just way too brown and ugly for me. I had to make it more blue. That kind of goes with the theme to me of kind of a modern cityscape or skyline. Uh, also a little bit of bump in tint, smart contrast, highlights and shadows, just basic stuff, trying to get that under control. And then I went to AI Enhance, and here I gave it a big bump, as you can see a 60, really just trying to crank that up because it was way too dark and I felt like it needed a bit of pop and AI Accent is a great way to do that. I did not use Sky Enhancer. If I did, you can see it's kind of dark in the sky. And as you saw in my final result, the sky's a little bit brighter. I did not want to over darken the sky, so I skipped the Enhancer, but AI Accent for sure helped me out quite a bit. Okay, next up was AI Structure. And here what I did is I went really negative and a boost, and then I went ahead and I'll show you the mask. I painted these in to the sky and the water. So I'm basically just coming through and just removing detail and focus, for lack of a better word, from those areas. I'm trying to effectively accentuate my long exposure by making it even smoother than it was. So sky and water just basically got hit with that negative structure. And um, I went, uh, let me show you one more time. There it is before. Now it wasn't significantly structured, but you can see a little bit of pattern. And after much smoother, it almost looks like I, uh, um, it was a longer exposure than it was, and it was only 30 seconds or so. So I did that, but then now that I had the mask in place, I knew I wanted to use that, uh, that same mask again. So I did a copy of the mask, and then I went over here to the Details Enhancer, and I painted the mask or pasted the mask, but this time um, I inverted the mask. And so in this case, the Detail Mask is only gonna apply to the buildings, as you can see here. Um, I basically just wipe that in and I'm trying to avoid the areas that I smoothed out with negative structure, which is sky and water. So I, instead of repainting it uh, or rebrushing it myself, just copy the mask from the AI structure tool and then paste it down here to details enhancer and be sure to come over after you do that and say invert because you want to do the opposite, which was here, I wanted to accentuate details. So I bumped up small and medium details in those areas, which I think really gave them a nice pop. So if I turn that off and I zoom in a little bit, here's some of the buildings. If you look at the, I think that's the city hall uh, or town hall, whatever it's called um, in London, but there it is before and there it is after. You can see, I mean, all the windows in this building are just much, much crisper. And that's because I masked in selectively the detail enhancer filter. Okay, let me zoom back out. And next up, I actually went and I got golden hour. Um, and I like what it does. So let me just show you the before, there it is, and after. It warms up the highlights a little bit, um, but it also gives a little bit brighter look to the photo. So one more time, before and after. Not a big difference, but I use Golden Hour even though it's basically a blue photo. It gave it a little bit of kick, which I liked. Okay, then it's over to the Creative tab, and here I went into Mystical, one of my favorites, and gave that you know a mid-sized bump, 22. Nothing major, but if you look at the before and the after, has a little bit of sh shadow, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of moodiness, which I like. And then I popped over to LUTs, and here it was the Tritone LUT. And you can see it has a pretty substantial impact on the photo. Really brightened up the sky a lot, which I didn't really mind. Um, and uh, adds a bit of contrast and reduces the color saturation a bit as well. So there's before 
and after it's a little bit less blue to me it's a little bit more stark and a little bit more modern and that's kind of the look that i'm going for with this shot so the tritone lut really came in handy here my next stop is over here on the pro tab and i got adjustable gradient and let me show you the orientation basically what i did is i brightened the bottom so if you look at the orientation i tilted it i kind of compressed the gradient zone what i was really trying to do is isolate a lot of the lower portion of the photo to include just the water so it's slightly tilted on the horizon uh, and then what I did, I actually did a little bit on the top with just a tiny bit of contrast, but on the bottom, you can see I bumped the exposure and the contrast and pulled down the highlights. So pretty substantial change in the bottom. So if you look at the water before and after, you can see that it's really had a nice impact there. And partly, and let me turn it off again, um, I felt like it was a little bit too dark considering what the tritone LUT did to the top of the photo in the, uh, in the last tab. I feel like I needed to brighten that a little bit and even it out, and I felt like the adjustable gradient was the perfect tool for that job. Okay, at this point, I was really done with the photo, and if you look at where we started and where we are, I mean, we've come a long way. I really like it, so there's before and after. It's crisper, it's smoother with the long exposure kind of accentuated with the negative structure. It's crisper in the building areas, as I said, because of the details. Uh, and then of course the colors are very different. To me that accentuates kind of the modern look. There's a couple more things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you in a second, but one thing that would make it to me a little bit more modern, and I'm thinking modern cityscape, kind of like Blade Runner-esque. Um, that's why I kind of like the blue and the moody. But one thing that, it, that would accentuate that was if I was here later in the day, when those lights were coming on in the city and there were more lights on, that would have looked really cool. Something I recommend doing if you can get it. I didn't get it in this shot because I wasn't gonna be there, I guess. Um, but the next thing I did, and this was kind of an add-on kind of fun, and that is I used the fog filter. And let me show you, oops, let me turn that on. I used light fog at 20, but I put it on a luminosity mask. So let me show you the mask. That's what it looks like. It's more heavily applied in the sky and the water because those are the brighter parts. That's what the luminosity mask is gonna do for you. Whereas the darker parts, which is really all this, the man-made stuff, right? The buildings um, and the boat, etc. they're darker. They're getting a less intense mask. So they're getting less of that fog effect. So I kind of like that. I thought that was kind of cool. I wasn't sold if I was gonna keep it. So I left that as optional, but there it is before and after. Obviously it brightens the photo, but it's it's I think it accentuates that kind of stark look and the contrast with the dark and light. So I kind of liked it. And then another idea I had was over here in blue, uh, or excuse me, in color uh, with the blue. Thing is, you can change the hue of the blue. You can go that way if you want, which I don't really like, but I do kind of like it this way. And then if I pull down the saturation, it creates a little bit more washed out, not quite black and white look. And again, every photo is gonna be different, so I would recommend experimenting. But if you come over here in a photo like this that has so much blue in it, changing the hue and the saturation, and by the way, don't forget the luminance. You can make it brighter or darker. You can really get a lot of moody, different kind of changes. I didn't have anything that I wanted on this um, particular tool or filter in, in color with the blue, but that's something to think about. If I turn it off, you can see it before and after. I like it better with the blue, so I'm gonna hit reset, but I wanted to point that out as a, poten a potential option for you when you're enhancing photos like this. And that's really it. This was a, intended to be kind of some quick tips about uh, accentuating cityscapes. There it is one more time, before and after. And this is just kind of a fun edit, going for that Blade Runner-esque kind of modern cityscape or skyline kind of shot and some of the tools and filters I use to accentuate that look. I hope it gives you some ideas. I very much appreciate you watching, my friends. Take care of yourselves out there. Don't forget to uh, you know, hit subscribe, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, whatever you call it. I don't even know anymore. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves out there, and adios.